What is going on guys, Tiz Waffle here with the first episode of Waffle Wednesday, which is a new weekly discussion regarding gaming news, opinions, and much, much more. Feel free to submit topics for future shows at the link in the video description. There's a form you can fill out and send in a topic for a future episode. Anyways, this first topic is what are my opinions about violent video games submitted by Anonymous on Formspring during my live Q&A. And I, I kind of wanted to not answer this on the live Q&A because... I kind of, I kind of want to do like a really in-depth answer on this because I've got quite a lot to, s to say about this. Uh, first, first of all, there's like, you know, like no evidence that violent video games make someone violent. Like there have been studies, no, no evidence saying, hey, this kid played, I don't know, Call of Duty. He went out, he decided to go shoot people because of it. No, it's not because of that. Usually a lot of people will actually play video games. To, you know, take out their anger and what I actually know a friend who actually plays a uh, Grand Theft Auto to take out some of the anger, you know, shooting people and they're stealing cars and stuff. But still, it's not like she'll actually do that in real life. Like, you know, games are kind of a fantasy world, you know, if you don't already know that, then I don't even know what to say. But, you know, you can do whatever you want in there and there there's no there's no price you have to pay. You don't have to go to jail if you kill someone in a video game or. You don't have to, you know, go to jail for doing drugs in a video game or stealing a car in a video game because no one really cares. It's all for your enjoyment. It's just like on, on a movie. If some guy steals a car on a movie, you don't see the movie star getting arrested in real life just because of that. It's mainly just for entertainment. So I don't know why everyone's getting all, you know, just absolutely just crazy over violent video games. Mainly just the parents. Which also leads me into this next thing. Usually it's just the parents. Who are buying the kids, you know, 12, 13 year olds who can't normally buy these games themselves, they don't have jobs. Usually it's the parents who are buying these video games for their children, you know, because the children are too young, they're not allowed to actually buy them. So they're just like, hey mom, can, uh, can I get, you know, uh, M rated game? Because uh, I can't, I can't afford it, I've got no job, you know, but, but still, you see what I'm doing there. Just, they'll be like, okay, I might as well, I've, I don't know what this game's about, but you know. As long as, as long as it'll, it'll take up some of your free time, then well, why not? That's kind of what's going on, and it kind of wants me to compare this to movies. You know, there are very violent movies out there. Extremely violent ones, you know. Some of them banned from theaters, too. Some of them you can only get on DVD or, like, on the internet or something. And, uh, those, no, I don't think those are as controversial as violent video games. Because, quite honestly, you don't hear much about violent movies, like... Maybe you'll hear about it like, oh man, the special effects were so amazing, the blood, the 3D blood actually felt like it was splattering towards your fa- You don't hear that kind, you hear that kind of stuff, but you don't hear like, oh my god, that was so disgusting, get that stuff away from our children. Because there's no way that your kid can get into, like, you know, an R-rated movie in a movie theater without them, you know, one, sneaking in, or two, buying a ticket, and then going with their parents. You know, if they're going to watch that, then obviously you approve of them watching that. And if you're going to watch that without even knowing what the movie's about, at least watch the trailer. That way you have an idea, oh, this movie's called Hack and Slash Gonna Rip Yo Head Off. Might not want to let my kid go see that. And the same thing kind of applies for books as well. Because some books are sometimes violent, but they can also kind of spread very negative ideals. One example is Harry Potter. Now you guys might be thinking, oh man, that is a very, very kid-friendly series of books. I don't see what you're going, where you're going with this. Well, if you don't already know, Harry Potter kinda promotes witchcraft. So, if if you if you catch my drift here, then uh, you know, if I was some crazy guy, then I'd be like, you know what? All Harry Potter books off the shelves right now. All libraries, burn them. Well, not really burn, but, you know, get rid of them. Because they're they're promoting witchcraft, and, uh, we don't like that stuff. They're doing magical stuff. They're doing alchemy and all that stuff. It's it's not acceptable in this. We don't want our kids starting to do magic stuff. Black magic. Doing spells. And stuff. We don't want that. Although, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be pretty cool, to be quite honest. But we don't want that. And that kind of leads me back to violent video games. Because, well, if you think about a video game... When do you play a video game? When you're bored, or when you have nothing else to do? When you're when you're on leisure time, you have nothing else to do. You don't 
You don't feel like watching TV. You kind of feel like playing a video game. Maybe you want to play some, I don't know, Call of Duty, shoot some people up. You know, it's not like you're going to go out there, buy a gun, and actually just like, you know, be like, oh man, the experience in Call of Duty isn't this good. Oh, ho, 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 and shoot everyone in town. Because that'd be one, kind of illegal. And two, would be a really dumb thing to do. You don't see very many people, or at all, doing that on the news or anything. You don't see a uh, COD player goes crazy, blah, blah, blah on the news. Because, uh, you know, that's that's just not the way violent video games kind of mess with your head, if you will. But the way that they do mess with your head is is ones I already mentioned earlier. You kind of take out your anger on it. You'll do things that you wouldn't normally do in real life because there are no repercussions. You can get away with pretty much anything in a video game. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, feel free to leave your comments below on what you think about violent video games, and uh, that's pretty much my uh, my opinion about violent video games. What do you guys think about my opinion? Do you, do you disagree or agree with it? S somewhat agree, somewhat disagree. Feel free to let me know in the comments, and feel free to let me know what you think of this new show I'm going to start doing. And before I even get any comments, I know this was definitely inspired by Total Biscuit. And I have been getting comments saying you need to engage with your audience a lot more. Well, hopefully this will actually kind of do a little bit of both. Because I've always wanted to kind of do these kind of videos. Kind of give my opinions on stuff. And interact with the uh, with my subscriber base. So, there you go. If you have a topic you want me to possibly talk about next week, feel free to click the link in the video description. There is a little form you can fill out. And uh, yeah, I'll get the message. And hopefully your topic will be picked for a future show. Anyways, that is about it. Thank you guys all for watching the first episode of Waffle Wednesdays. Hope you guys like this new series I'm doing. If you guys like the video, feel free to hit that like button. If you guys want more of these videos, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there. Careful with that fire. Can I help you? <laughs>